Hello everyone, 2002 Ford F-250 with a 7.3 Power Stroke diesel engine has a weird, very intermittent, but bad enough to cause uh, drivability problems. Issue with the check engine light coming on, it losing power, cutting out, running rough, and we even had the battery light flickering at times, and I think it might be related to this problem as well, but we'll find out. Uh, but I did figure out this P1280 code, even after a new ICP sensor and pigtail on that, the little connector, that's new. We still had an intermittent problem. The problem was most noticeable when the engine was hot and it was under load. Towing uh, in warmer temperatures, that's when we noticed this most. And we just had a heck of a time trying to figure this out. So I'll show you a couple things I was looking at here. First off, uh, the ICP sensor. I swapped it with the one in my excursion. No change, same problem. So I dug into the wiring here. Here's the wires that you can see we have associated with this sensor. In particular, pay attention to that dark blue with a light green tracer wire. That's gonna be key later on in the video. So the data that I was looking at on my scan tool here, almost 400,000 miles on the truck, by the way. This is the data for that sensor. Now, what I was noticing when I got lucky enough to see the problem here is the ICP sensor voltage. This, uh, this bit of data right here was intermittently dropping to zero. So that tells me that uh, we either got a short to ground or an open circuit somewhere causing this actually it wouldn't be an open circuit it'd be a short to ground because it detects zero volts if it's a an open circuit it'd be five volts but anyway we got a short to ground somewhere so i noticed that when the truck had this problem it was when you'd be accelerating or towing and i got to thinking about it i thought okay this engine is going to torque when it's under load and it's going to rotate ever so slightly counterclockwise like this towards the passenger side which theoretically could be bringing the driver's side up of, of the engine up ever so slightly now right here is the engine control wiring harness this goes to the engine control module you see these wires down in here over time, those can settle and rest on the valve cover. Now, I'm gonna make this a little bit easier for you guys to see here. I'm gonna just take this off really quick. Nice thing about a 7.3 is very easy to work on. Stuff is usually pretty easy to get to. There we go. There's that wire harness right here that I was talking about. Now, I'm gonna take this off here using a 10 millimeter swivel socket we're just going to separate this connector and i'll show you what i'm talking about pay close attention to the valve cover see that little witness mark there on the valve cover right there kind of that shiny area right where i'm shining my flashlight there that tells me something's been rubbing against that valve cover well, what else could be rubbing against that other than this wiring harness? And sure enough, when we look close, we can see that, uh, remember that uh, blue with light green tracer wire? That has been rubbing against the, yeah, there you go, you can kind of see it there now. That has been rubbing against the valve cover and eventually causing it to short to uh, ground through the valve cover. Here's a close-up of the wiring. See that shiny area on that blue wire right there? That's the wires. Now here's my theory on what was going on. When the engine warms up, these wires become more flexible. The insulation becomes softer and things expand ever so slightly, even if you can't see it with the naked eye. Everything expands a little bit when it gets hotter. So my theory is the combination of the engine getting hot while under load and towing, and when the engine is under load, it's, it's torquing, so the engine is rotating a little bit this way, and it was just causing it to uh, come up just enough to rub against that wire harness, just enough to intermittently 
short this circuit to ground. So this is gonna be an easy fix. I'm simply going to repair these wires and I'm going to uh, wrap some extra wiring loom around this uh, wire harness to protect it. Maybe secure it up out of the way a little bit more with some zip ties. Throw all this back together. And then we'll, uh, we'll go drive this truck for a good distance. We'll maybe tow with it if we can. If not, we'll just do some acceleration with it, put it under load, get the engine nice and warm, and we'll see if that fixes our problem. So here's the repair. You can see I've got that harness wrapped in some loom and extra wiring electrical tape there. You can't see the fixed wires. They're underneath the loom there, but got those two wires fixed and then kind of secured the rest of it. It's still going to maybe make contact a little bit, but with the wiring loom being here and being wrapped in tape, those wires are well protected now. The area that was rubbing did not have wire loom on it. So let's go drive it and see how it runs. I've been driving the truck for a good half hour, an hour or so. Uh, the previous day, that is. The engine's a little cold this morning, but it's built up some temperature. And as you can see, we've got good power again. No hesitation, no lack of power, no battery light or check engine light on. I'm going to say that this is a uh, this is a fixed problem, folks. Well, I hope this helps uh, some of you out that maybe have a, have an issue with this, maybe have the same kind of problem. Look for that wiring harness around that uh, valve cover. I bet there's a lot of trucks out there with intermittent electrical issues like this that have the same thing. All right. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, and I'll see you next time.